I'm uh, Bob Hasty. I'm uh, one of the two current workshop managers here at uh, McPherson Contractors out of Matamata. In 97, McPherson Contractors was formed and we've been in business here in, in Matamata and the Greater Waikato and the Bay of Plenty since. The main work that McPherson's do is a, a lot of this work that we've got here is uh, subdivisions. We do a lot of um, rural contouring. Uh, this is a um, subdivision just on the outskirts of Matamata. Um, it's about a 45 lot um, subdivision. Um, it's a cut and fill process to get the sections up to height. So this is uh, McPherson's second IMC2 dozer. Um, it's D61PXI-24, the latest in Kabatu technology. Uh, we've always needed an extra dozer and we're taking on some bigger jobs now that needed a bit bigger machine so it just goes well with our 2D51s as well. So the new do dozer was purchased not only for here but for our ongoing work. Looking to the future we, we found that we needed to have another mid-range mid IMC dozer. We chosen to go with Kamatsu because Stephen McPherson, the boss, he uh, He's had the product since the, the late 90s. He's had Komatsu ever since. Uh, the product is good and uh, we found that now with the IMC machines it's giving us uh, a competitive advantage, and especially when we combine it with the smart construction and the drone survey. The tractor and scoops place the dirt in layers and then the dozer's doing the trimming, the final trimming, so that's where it's um, mostly used for all the final trimming and prepping of the roads and um, subgrade. When they push uh, a lot of material in front of the blade and the machine drift to one end, uh, the steering on that, uh, say drift to the left, the steering uh, tilt will, will loop in on the left and then force the machine straight, so it, it push in a straight line. What we've found as well is it's um, taking a lot of rework out of it. Um, we're finding we're doing things once and doing it right. Um, and it's also helping with the new guys coming through with less experience, it's just helping them um, pick up a bit quicker. We chose to go with, with IMC because we find that we can take uh, just average operators and make them into good operators. And that there's a competitive efficiency there and we're finding that we can uh, reduce our costs quite considerably. Yeah, we've found um, it's hard to, these days to get experienced operators with final trim skills, so um, with the IMC it's just helping um, the new generation come through and, and get a real fine final trim with, um, you know, with a bit less experience. Mostly by, uh, in conjunction with the IMC with the 3D modelling, that we find that when we import materials we can put it exactly where it's going to go and when we're excavating we can take it to where it needs to go next and therefore only touching everything once. The benefits for us is just that competitive advantage. We find that just most of our operators now can come into a site and just, just go straight to it. They level off quick, they can do it at speed. We use the drone um, application quite a bit with smart construction. We use it a lot for our estimation and pricing and um, calculating volumes and that sort of thing. So that's one thing we're going to get into a bit more of. Today I'll be doing a drone survey for McPherson. I do that mainly once a month for them, and they calculate volume between the last month and this month uh, for the end of the month claims. And that gives us a good look at everything that's on any site, you know, where, where we've got to do most of our work. I'm not sure, but I don't think, even think that Stephen get any surveys these days on site. It's, it's between the drone surveys and, and the machines. Only uh, survey cost alone will, will save him a, a ton of money. We also have a quick surface creation, so that's quite a neat feature. So the quick surface uh, creation is um, one thing we use quite a lot with, with all our machines, IMC machines. Um, sometimes on site the design might not work on site, we may need to adapt on site. So you know we, we can punch in a, a flat plane or a 1% cross wall and it helps with the um, environmentals and that sort of thing. If we need drains to fall to the right places it just helps. Yeah, the remote access is really good because um, sometimes we find ourselves in the, in the office away from the site at times and the guys ring up with a problem. We can um, remote in and see what they're doing, see what the issue is. We can do that from the office and not have to go out to site, so that's really handy. We see the IMC uh, as the way to the future. We run the best dozers in the world. And we're trying to be um, efficient and, and, and productive in what we do so we can offer a, a good result for the clients that we, we have. 